do you communicate with your team through the update section within monday.com? Let me show you some really cool tricks that you probably don't know about so you can make communication easier within the update section. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. Questions that I get asked most often is how do I actually communicate with my team members on Monday? So I want to show you the update section because this is where I recommend you do all your communication. This way you don't have one thing in Slack and one thing in WhatsApp and one thing that you spoke to them about it, but everything is connected to a task in one place. Now, as you can see, I have a task here to create a logo. If I click on this start conversation, I've opened the update section. Now, what this update section essentially does is it keeps a running list of updates per task, which is really nice because I have a history of everything that happens. So first of all, what you can do here, and this is something that I recommend for everyone is mentioning someone here. You have an at mention button. So if I click this, I can choose someone. Now let's say I want to leave a note for Justin. Okay. So I've mentioned him now, as you saw in the options, I can also mention everyone on this board or everyone on this task. So he's going to get a notification now about this task. And I'm going to say, please start on this logo. And I want to give him a list of tasks that he needs to do. I can add bullets, but there also is this really nice feature, which you may not know about called a checklist. So I'm going to create a checklist of what he needs. So first he needs the colors and then he needs to get the dimensions. And then he needs to get, um, let's say the number of logos because we're built, we're creating a, a logo for someone. So they want a number of options. So my first step is I've created this update and I'm going to click update. Now you're going to see that this put a timestamp on it and Justin's going to get a notification about this. Now, when he's working on these tasks, he can come in and check them off. Now, what happens is see this, um, check over here. It's telling me that two are two out of three are completed. So without even having to go into the update section, I can see where he's holding. Now let's jump into a few more really cool tricks. There is a like button. So if I want to like something, I can choose like, okay, great job. I gave it a heart. You know, you can do a thumbs up, whatever you want. If I reply, so, um, this is a notification that he'll get because I'm replying to a specific comment. A few other really cool things about the update section. First, you can write updates via email. If I copy this email address, I can send an update specifically to this item. I also can get a customized email address. So my update will show up here. The next thing that I want to show you is obviously there's a quick editor. I'm not even going to go into that. Um, you can add emojis and you can add files. Now let's just take an item that I've already written that I've already posted. You can see here a notification bell, and this is a reminder. Now I can add a reminder, remind me in 20 minutes about this task, reminds me in one hour, you know, sometimes you get really busy and then you need to go back to it. So this is a really simple way to get a reminder. If you click on these three dots over here, I can also pin this to the top. And what that means is this will always stay the top task. So let's say I have another task that says update, client loves the first option. Okay. So I can add this update to my sec to my task, but you can see that it showed up under this comment because I've pinned it. I'm going to unpin it. The next option is copy link to update. I've right now I've copied a link and I can, let's say, put that in Slack or just send it to someone, or maybe add it in a different item. If I want to say like, see this task. The next option is to unfollow the conversation. Like maybe I don't want to be part of this conversation anymore. I don't need notification so I can unfollow it. If I'm the, if I've created the update, I can edit it. I can delete it. I also can share this update via email and I can bookmark it. So all of these options 
are really, really helpful when you want to communicate with your team in the update section and have all the communication in one place about a specific task. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.